Lost Media VTubers If you don't know, Lost Media is any form of media that is confirmed to exist, but has become unavailable to be watched, either due to it being obscure and forgotten, being banned or deleted, or simply being lost to the sands of time. You may not know this because I'm mostly known for my videos about VTubers, but I actually started this channel to make videos on Lost Media. Four years ago, inspired by channels like Rebel Taxi and Blame It On Jorge, I made three videos on Lost or Cancelled Media. Well, I have wanted to cover more Lost Media and other passions like that on this channel for a while, so why not start with VTuber Lost Media? Lost Streams Probably the most common form of Lost Media relating to VTubers are Lost Streams. Streams are usually designed to be watched live with little thought put into the archiving of said streams, especially on platforms like Twitch. If you wanted to watch a stream archive from your favourite Twitch VTuber, and they don't post the full streams onto YouTube, then good luck, as there is a high chance that the stream will be deleted. Iron Mouse, for example, has all of her stream archives from over two months deleted, and this is a common practice amongst Twitch streamers, as they don't want their past content, which doesn't earn them a lot of revenue, putting their account at risk with things like copyright strikes. She started streaming way back in 2017 on a service called YouNow. YouNow saves VODs in a feature called Replays, which actually costs $5 per month per account to watch. If it was as simple as paying $5 and then downloading all of the replays, then I would have done that for this video. But these replays are only stored for 30 days, and given it's been 5-6 to six years since she streamed here, they're likely gone forever. Luckily, she has a VODs channel on YouTube, which has been archiving streams since February 15th, 2021. But pre-2021, you're not likely to find many full complete streams. And not all channels go through the hassle of saving and uploading multi-hour streams either, which leads to a lot of streams being lost. You may find occasional fan re-uploads or clips of highlights, but you'll rarely find full VODs. This is especially true for indie and small VTubers, who likely don't have the time or see the demand in saving such content. Luckily for most YouTube-based VTubers, such as Hololive and Niji Sanji members, their content is usually saved from this kind of automated deletions that happen on Twitch and other live streaming services. This is because YouTube is primarily a video on demand service. You can go back and watch most streams, even those streamed years ago, providing the channel hasn't deleted them. Private Hollow No Graffiti Episodes Hollow No Graffiti is the popular weekly anime about Hollow Live members. As of the writing of this video, there have been 192 episodes released, and you might want to marathon all of these episodes given that they're only about a minute long. Well, that's not really possible anymore, as 29 of these episodes were privatised by Cover Corp. It's not really known why these episodes are gone. They're mostly early episodes, but there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason behind the ones that were actually privated. The last episode to be privated was uploaded on May 17th, 2020, so all episodes released after that date are still available on the whole live channel. Luckily, all of these episodes were also uploaded onto the Chinese video sharing site Billy Billy, so they are still technically viewable by fans. But the original uploads and the English subtitles are now lost. Unofficial re-uploads of these videos are available on YouTube, but again they don't have English subtitles, so unless you speak Japanese or Chinese, you probably won't get much out of them. Deleted slash privated slash banned whole live streams. There was a time, around July 2020, when a whole heap of whole live streams began receiving copyright claims, mainly from Japanese game publishers like Capcom, Whole Live Solution, to privatize all of the streams of their talent at the time. They made a tweet linking to a press release about this incident on July 30th. But ironically, that article has since also been lost. Neither the fans nor the talents were happy about this. Whole Live's first member, Sora, even tweeted, I am confused and unconvinced that all the videos have been temporarily deleted this time. I feel very sad that I can no longer stream chats, and I don't feel like I can stream. There is a page on a Japanese site called Holo Tools, which shows how much of a Whole Live member's content is actually still public, excluding members only streams. There are some inaccuracies in these numbers, as some channels have more than 100%, but they give a good indicator of how much of a given streamer's content has been lost. For the whole live EN and ID girls, almost all of their content is still on their channels, but the further you go back, the more has been lost. Fan favourites like Subaru and Miko have lost a huge percentage of their videos, with channels like Choco and Aqua having privated more than half of all their videos. It's sad to see so much content gone, that will likely never be released to the public again. For Subaru in particular, it was reported that her content was deleted rather than privated, which means it will never be made public again, because even YouTube won't have it at this point. Hololive's Mio received two copyright strikes around this time, and had to take a hiatus from streaming because of it. Any channel that receives three strikes will be deleted from YouTube for good. It may have been a smart move after all for Hololive to protect their talents from receiving outright bans, but it's still sad to see so much content lost. Due to them happening at a similar time, it's possible that these copyright strikes are the reason why so many Hologra episodes were taken down. Graduated Streamers The other time when a lot of VTuber media gets deleted and lost en masse is when VTubers graduate. Some of the largest graduations in VTuber history have been the Hololive graduations. Particularly Hololive JP's Coco and Rushia 
and Hull IVN's Sana. When graduations happen, it's not a foregone conclusion that their content will be deleted. In the case of Coco, all of her streams and videos are still up to this day. This is because she left the company on good terms and had a proper graduation stream. The same is true for Sana. You can still go back and watch all of her past streams no problem. The same cannot be said for Rushia, however. Rushia left the company under much worse circumstances. I'm sure you all know about her situation by now, so I won't rehash it in this video. But after she had left the company, all of her content was purged from her channel. That's right, you can no longer watch her streams, which I'm sure brought a lot of bros into the rabbit hole in the first place. There were a couple of channels which were set up to archive Rushia's content when it was deleted, but they were all copyright striked by cover, so they no longer have the content up either. Someone also made an archive.org download of all of Rushia's content, including chat messages and YouTube auto subs in different languages. This was also DMCA'd by cover, and it's unclear at this point if it's even viewable anymore. It's so sad that so much content was lost. Conclusion If you love content and you want to ensure it stays around, then you should not leave this in the hands of companies like CoverCorp, AnyColor, or services like YouTube or Twitch. You need to take it into your own hands to take backups if you can. Storage prices are only getting lower, and internet speeds are only getting faster, so it's becoming more and more feasible to archive content that you like. Though it's probably unreasonable for one person to take every VTuber they like's whole stream catalogue, you could probably save a good amount of your favourite streams slash clips. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please let me know in the comments below. I'm going to be experimenting with my videos going forward so things don't get stale, and they could fit my schedule better. Thanks for watching.